Hello everyone, Willow Graves here. How y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing well as I am and uh, staying safe. Can y'all believe it's May? Like, I still remember it turning 2020 in January and having a goal for myself to do and to be better. You know, creating unrealistic resolutions and expectations for myself. Actually, I did start off good. I was getting up super early to do yoga and a bit more of my exercises before my classes and such. I mean, that is until it got super hard to get up early, and soon enough, things were getting rough for everyone around the world. But we're not going to talk about that. As you all can tell by the title, I am doing a mermaid challenge, but once, just once for the month of May. <laughs> that That's just because finals are coming up, and I don't know how other artists are time managing to draw a specific prompted mermaid every day of my of May. Maybe after I finish college I can pull that off. I don't know. I'd like to. <laughs> anyway, I decided that I wanted to make something that can take the mind off of the worries that are going on. I meant for this piece to give off a chill summer vibe, and what better way to do that than to draw a mermaid lounging on a rock sunbathing. I mean, that's my favorite part of summer. Warmer weather, but not hot and muggy weather. <laughs> the comforting, but not hot beating, but not the beating hot sun. And, uh, nature, except for the pesky bugs, and just being able to relax. No school, more family and friend time, and especially the whole family cookout get-togethers. I love that about summer. Comment, comment down below what you love about summer, and what's your favorite part of it. Just curious. As you may have seen, I traced over a scanned sketch that was made with traditional pencil and paper. I explained in my last video that I was having a hard time drawing it out. For some reason, it's hard for me to sketch it out digitally. Not sure why. It, artist problems, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's what I did. I sketched it before tracing it on the tablet, which I'll link down below. <clears throat> As I said, I think in my first video, it was the XP Pen Artist 22E Pro. After tracing it, I used the wand tool to select the open areas and filling them in with the paint bucket tool paint bucket tool and <clears throat> occasionally occasionally coloring them in with the brush tool and after placing solid basic colors in I went in with some detail and shading this took me an hour and a half to make I was going a little out of my comfort zone and creating an environmental background which is something I don't really do I was really experimenting with how to create the clouds and with the different types and textured brushes. I was having some trouble with that because the brush it, some of the brushes, like the textures, were assigned to the blur tool and some others were assigned to the brush tool. The blur tool is what I used to blend. I, it's weird, but I managed. I did do quite a bit of line art, but I'm going to start learning how to create something without the line art. Looking back at it, I kind of wish I didn't do the line art on the water in the foreground. <laughs> Not sure why I did that, I'm just so used to putting line art on everything to better define the form I'm making, but I suppose there's something, some, there's such thing as too much line art with color perhaps? I don't know, I'm still learning. <laughs> and I know I should not be critiquing myself and I'm my own worst critic, but I just wonder why? When in the process of making something, it looks good, but then looking back at it within the next hour, day or so, it looks, it doesn't look as good. I, again, artist problems. I don't, I don't understand it. I'm still proud of it just because, I mean, look at those happy little clouds. I mean, look at those. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Also, I try manually creating scales on the mermaid's tail, you know, with a certain type of textured brush. But I realized it was not working out. It was like it was coming out awful. So I resorted to Google to overlay the picture of scales. Why purple? I don't know. It's my favorite color at the moment. Lavender, purple. I'm not a color palette ex expert, but you know, still learning. Perhaps uh, you know I just been putting colors together that I thought looked good. Perhaps I'll give myself a little color lesson over the summer maybe but anyway that's that's just about it <laughs> what do you guys think of the piece if you liked it give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments about anything about the drawing i'm open to constructive 
I'm open to constructive criticism. <laughs> Just be polite, and, but honest about it. You know, no hate, please. Don't need any more of that in the world today. I've mentioned I've got a new mic on the way, and I've been planning on doing an unboxing review of it and possibly have some sort of animation going on for my next or very soon to come video. It's supposed to be here by the 10th sometime, you know, the same time as my finals that end on the 15th, but it may not come till the 13th if there's a delay. I'm not really sure. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram at willowgraves2. That's linked down below. Yeah, that's about it for you guys. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and supportive. Have a nice day. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!